Rex's first Disso Super Bowl race since 2020 gets underway. Better start for Dominic Egerton. Egerton pulls alongside Alvaro Bautista in the run down towards turn one. And he's got the inside line. And Bautista now has dropped back to third position in the Ooh. early stages. Wobble coming off turn number one. And that's allowed Alex Lowe's to claim that second position. So already, top rack Raz Gatlioglu up and into fourth place. Getting clear of Jonathan Ray with an early chance to strike against Bautista. He's going to have to weave his way back through here on Alex Lowe's. And your early race leader, Dominic Egerton, after a disappointing day for him yesterday he's right at the front and challenging for these podium positions early on Alex Lowe's now picking his pocket an opportunity for him to see daylight ahead Bautista now will try to strike in towards Pedrosa Hairpin for the first time on lap number one he's alongside Dominic Egerton Razgat Lioglu will want to quickly clear his Yamaha stable mate but Egerton holds the line Locatelli down there at turn six as well great start for Lowe's got it the inside of Bautista into turn one and then a really good move down the inside of Dami Agata into five you don't see many moves into there Andrea Locatelli makes very very few mistakes in the Superbike World Championship and he's gone down there on the opening lap of 10 and that's going to be costly as far as Pat Yamaha are concerned as Michael Ruben Rinaldi tries to make his progress Alex Lowe's holds top spot at the end of lap number one. There goes Jonathan Ray with a pass on Dominic Egerton. That's 4P4. Razgatlioglu almost tripping over Alvaro Bautista coming off that final turn. Lowe's was holding him back. Wonder whether someone then missed a gear or made an error through that final turn because they were all bunching up at the start of lap number two. And Alex Lowe's has gone backwards down to fifth position. Razgatlioglu claims the race lead, moves Jonathan Ray out of the way. And now he's got Bautista on his tail. They go either side of Dominic Egerton, who drops from third to fifth places. Alex Lowe's recovering. Razgatlioglu hits the front. Jonathan Ray has the upshot in all of that. He's got through on Alex Lowe's. It's now or never for these men to take on Alvaro Bautista before he settles into a rhythm up at the head of the field. Yeah, you can see into turn six, though, for top rack. He could still attack to defend that lead, and he's doing the same now again into the stadium complex. Always able to get that bike stopped a little bit easier than Bautista, but to make the move into turn eight for Bautista, it's a brave place to come through there. Dominic Egerton out in the gravel trap. It has been a tough start to this weekend as far as the two races thus far are concerned. Had electrical problems yesterday and uh, this time around it, on lap red. number two, he's out of the action. It's a red flag there because it looked like that would have been a technical issue for him. It was up at turn five there, right-hand side. The bike was completely clean, so hadn't gone down there. So for... For Dami Agata, there must be fluid down on the track. That's what brought out that red flag. But I'll tell you what, that was an action back lap and a half. It's almost a shame to neutralise that, isn't it? We were we were in for a good and one. This is this is the proof of the fluid down there as well. Iker Lacuona gets caught out by it. You can see they're just a little bit prone there in the right wrist there, an elbow for Iker at that stage. So he must have hit that fluid that was there from Dami Agata. Yeah, Lacuona going down from 10th position at the time of his spill. Uh, lap number two of the Super Bowl race, and we have a stoppage as a result of that red flag. Yeah, and you can see into the pit box there for Top Rack. He'll be able to take a bit of feedback from that as well. Now, in these early stages, you can see a big blow up there for Dom Jagerer, and uh, Lekwon would have been left with nowhere to go there through that section of the track. Eight lap restart for the Tissot Super Pole race. Jonathan Ray has outjumped Alex Lowe's, but Lowe's responding against Alvaro Bautista. Again, it's Dominic Egerton who leads them in towards turn number one. Lowe's does appear to get the better of Jonathan Ray off that first bend, still on the inside line to try and catch Bautista by surprise. Jonathan Ray going all the way around the outside of Bautista. That'll give him the inside for turn four. And Ray is also through on Bautista to relegate him to fourth position. And just as in the initial staging, top rack Braz Gatlioglu launches straight onto the back of of Bautista, so the top two in the championship are fourth and fifth positions in this race on the opening lap. Bautista now against Lowe's for second place. Accelerates coming off the final turn at the end of that opening lap. Remember, just eight laps in the restart of this Super Bowl race. Down the straight, in towards Pedrosa Hairpin. Egerton knows it. He moves straight to the inside. Bautista's going to be forced to go the long way round. As long as he gets it stopped, the number one will be your new race leader. Dominic Egerton then pushed back to second position. Top oh. right, Razzgat, the off on Alex Lowe's and Lowe's is down into turn one on lap number three. You can see Toprak makes the move into turn one and uh, there's just contact between them there. 
tiniest bit of contact it looks like as well, almost tire to tire there going into the first turn at the start of the third lap. In towards turn six, Pedrosa hairpin, Ray fully committed, Raz Gatlioglu has to stand it up but he's got the cut back and top rack cuts straight back through into third place. Jonathan Ray gets alongside top rack Raz Gatlioglu. Top rack has looked vulnerable over the last lap and a half or so to Ray, but as soon as Ray gets through, Raz Gatlioglu answers straight back. Dominic Egerta here in the box seats with a six tenths of a second advantage over Ray and Raz Gatlioglu with every chance of being on his first World SBK podium. Ray might have a shot here in towards turn 13, end of lap five, door is left open. Ray doesn't need a second invitation, neither does Raz Gatlioglu to hug the curve, force Jonathan and Ray back out of the way into turn one now at the start of lap six only three laps to go and Alvaro Bautista losing ground dramatically to Dominic Egerton new personal best lap last time around from Egerton and Bautista's lead is down to less than half a second this is the change to the X tire really working out for Dominic Egerton he's got more grip underneath him you can see for top rack on the queue he is really struggling that's Bassani and uh, Gerloff big incident for Axel Bassani uh, puts his hands uh, on his head in frustration You can see there, as we ride on board, this will be investigated after the race, but uh, for Bassani, he'll certainly be thinking he's uh, been taken out there again. Rejoin at the podium scrap, and Jonathan Ray is ahead of top rack Raz Gatlioglu for third position. But Ray is now over a second back from Dominic Egerton in second place. Scott Redding there with a clear problem. He looked like he pulled off the track earlier in the lap, so for Scott Redding, that's another technical issue to end this race. Alvaro Bautista then takes his seventh Super Bowl race victory of the 2023 campaign. But the bigger stories are behind him. Dominic Egerton, previous best of fourth position, boards a machine after an explosion in the initial running of the Super Bowl race and comes home for his first career podium in the Superbike World Championship. Jonathan Ray gets third position in his final weekend for Kawasaki after a race-long scrap with top rack Raz Gatlioglu. Vamos rápido, papá.